boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about one of our favorite here on the channel, SoFi. This is a fintech company that we have covered here a lot. Um, I try to give you guys updates, um, tell you when the dip is uh, to buy or maybe to start looking at uh, selling and, and all that good stuff. But uh, again, in today's video, I want to talk about why the stock has been moving to the upside. Uh, we did a video most recently on SoFi where I told you guys that this stock uh, was at a position where you should start loading up and now the stock is now in the move back on, on, on the upside. There's two key reasons why it's moving and I'm going to give you guys my price prediction and what to do uh, coming up. But in today's video guys, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to SoFi, this is a company that I've covered here on the channel a lot from the, the days that they went public through their merger. Uh, and again, now I still keep telling give you guys information because to me, this is a long term play. I kind of put SoFi in the same category as PayPal um, and maybe Square, even though the business model is a little bit different, but I see them doing that same uh, in that same space or kind of like getting to that same price point in the future. Uh, right now, the company is still trying to build its reputation. Uh, she's trying to build products um, and get people to kind of buy in which they are slowly but steadily uh, getting to that point. So for those of you that don't know what SoFi does, as a matter of fact, uh, SoFi is a fintech company, uh, pretty much uh, replacing what I'll call your traditional business model. And you guys know my strategy. I like to invest in companies that are innovative, that are changing the way we do things. So uh, think about you going to your traditional bank and asking for a loan. They have to run a background check. It takes a couple of days or maybe a week and they get back to you, give you information and then sometimes approve or not approve. Um, then you have to, you know, fill out some forms, just that hassle. Um, so far, it's trying to simplify that, bringing everything that you have into one platform. So if you're talking about investing, you're talking about personal loans, talking about student loans, you're talking about managing your money, you're talking about home loan, credit cards, private student loans, insurance, uh, credit score, budgeting, um, auto loans, refinancing, all of that in one place. The beauty about this is that you look and you have a dashboard and you can see all these things. You don't have to go look into 10 different accounts to be able to see this. Um, some people say the downside is that there you have everything we want company, uh, which I totally understand. Uh, but again, for simplicity, you want everything in, in just one spot where you can easily uh, swipe your finger at the glance and you can see pretty much everything. Um, they do crypto investing, so um, I kind of like it. You can automate everything and start investing and managing your money from there so that's the reason why i like the company so uh, again i do have uh sofi I have an account with sofi i have a portfolio with them uh, if you're looking to like try sofi out uh in the links in my description definitely check them out click on that link go sign up you probably get some some free um either stocks or they give you free money for signing up so definitely use my affiliate link it's a win-win for you and for me you sign up you get some you get some uh, free money i get some free money as well so i appreciate that but again for long-term investors i think so far it's a good play um before we are going to move forward. The reason why so far it has been making move or that squeeze back to the upside, um, I think the first one in my personal opinion is that Jim Cramer actually recommended uh, that people buy SoFi. So he added uh, PayPal and SoFi and said, hey, if you're looking to buy, load up on PayPal as well as SoFi. Again, like I said, I my personal take, and I've said this several times even before Kramer is mentioning this, that I think that um, so far it's going to be the next PayPal or Square um, in terms of value in my personal opinion. So uh, I'm happy that uh, Kramer is coming around to that and actually telling people to buy because this thing is just trading at about $20 or $21 and some change. Let's kind of take a look here real quick. So you can see right here as when we're doing this video, so far it's going to be sitting somewhere about $21. And, and here's a kicker. If you notice like when we got down to these price points right here, I was screaming here on the channel. I said, buy SoFi, buy SoFi. And if you missed it, that's okay. It's not too late. Um, I'll still wait 
uh, for it to pull back a little bit. If you can see here, we've gotten all the way to, this is back in June, all the way to about $24 and some change, and then pull back. Notice that we pull back here, um, this is back in August, bounce off that around $14 and some change, squeeze again, bounce off, off of that and squeeze a little bit, bounce off. So that $14 and some change right there has been kind of like a support for this stock. Um, the last one was right here that it actually went up uh, in September. This is about it's about $18 here, pull back a little bit, but didn't really go back to that 14 and then bounce off again. But if you're looking for long-term, uh, I would say at $20, I'm gonna start buying and averaging my way because if you're just waiting for that magic moment where it drops to 14, um, if you don't have your orders sitting out there, it might drop during uh, uh, you know pre-market or after hours and then you're not there. By the time the market opens, it squeezes back up. So well, you can do one of two things. Place an order, uh, set it so that it doesn't expire. So good till cancel GTC and then uh, set it so that you, if your platform do allow you to trade during um, extended hours, set it so you can trade during extended hours and then put your price point, I was saving at $15, if it ever comes down to around 15, um, start loading up on this thing and again, uh, we have to give it time to really grow. So my goal is to load up as much as possible before the thing takes off and because, I'm, I'm, I mean, my personal take, once this thing cracks 30, uh, probably not coming back. It's probably gonna keep moving forward because the company is actually doing amazing things. Um, those of you guys that are football fans, if you have uh, been watching the LA Rams, the stadium is definitely named after this company called the SoFi Stadium. So they're doing things that are putting them out there slowly but steadily and a lot of people are not noticing. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to show you guys that thing that made SoFi um, is the fact that they actually partner with uh, Pagaya. So again, this is a, a company that allows uh, other financial institutions to do uh, background checks or to kind of run uh, your financial score. Right now we use credit score, but this company is actually using um, artificial intelligence um, to kind of check your overall financial health, not necessarily um, just based on credit. So um, they work with banks, they, you know, they work with loan providers, and obviously uh, SoFi is a loan provider. They are currently working to obtain their, their bank license. So they want to be able to leverage this technology to kind of get a quicker uh, information to you if you wanted to apply for a loan. How can we easily assess your financial history, not just necessarily uh, you know, consumer reports that they talk about you, but how do we know if you are uh, really uh, a good person that we should give a loan to? So it's a good partnership. So again, they're going around making all these acquisitions and establishing themselves so that when they start to move, they can move, um, start showing some profitability. Um, so reinvesting right now is the right thing to do. Um, as soon as you, re you reinvest, establish, build the platform to the point where it's robust, and then you start making money. So again, right now, I think SoFi has kind of a promotion where they're asking you to move your money over to SoFi. So if you transfer your checking account or whatever um, account you have to SoFi, uh, you get rewarded for it. So definitely uh, check the links in the description. Go out there, try SoFi if you haven't already, or if you're thinking of, of moving banks, I think for, again, this is mostly for people that are, um, are not on top of their money because this is gonna bring everything, that holistic picture into one spot where you can definitely go out there and manage your money. So definitely go, go check them out. So again, that's the reason why I, I do like SoFi. So just to kind of a, um, a quick recap here, uh, the reason that SoFi is actually squeezing, again, like I said, I see two things, the current acquisition of uh, Pagaya and also the fact that Jim Cramer talked about them and recommended them and put them in the same category like PayPal. Uh, and I put PayPal and Square for my, for my personal research and opinion. I think they it falls in that same category. So we'd see um, uh, SoFi continue to move up. But at some point, if you are somebody that's looking to either swing trade uh, you should be careful. If you're looking for long-term investment, then you're fine. If you're buying this thing between uh, $20 and $15, I mean, the, the goal is to hold it for 
three to five years and then kind of see that squeeze where we're hoping this thing would be over $50 and some change and continue to move up. So um, long-term investors uh, just keep loading. Um, swing investors, you should wait. I wouldn't even call you investors, but swing traders. Um, I say wait uh, for a really good pullback. And right now, you don't want to jump into a swing trade when it's already squeezing up um, because at that point, you're late to the game. You want to get in when it pulls back, when it's dropping red, that's when you're buying. Because when this thing was dropping down to uh, 17, 16, 15, that's when you should have loaded up and then it goes to this 20, 21, hopefully 22. You can sell for some profit and then see what happens. So again, uh, this is again for long-term investors. And if you have um, an account, you're not investing long-term, you're only trading, uh, my advice to you would be you should be able to separate trading accounts and long-term accounts I've actually done videos here on the channel where I show you guys why I have three main kinds of accounts So if you haven't already I'm gonna hook that video up here so you can definitely go check that out because it's very helpful for you to understand that um, in that account you in your, in your, your Investing account you buy 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 when you see the dips in your trading account you time the dip when you see it buy it goes up to your target price, you sell it. And then your trading account, obviously, if it's day trading, then you just buy and sell um, on that particular day. So definitely be smart about how you approach this. You can let me know in the comment section, how many of you guys currently have SoFi? How many of you guys currently uh, are looking to get into SoFi? And what do you think about SoFi? Do you agree that SoFi might be the next PayPal or the next square um, as you know I am talking about here or as Kramer just talked about in that article you can let me know in the comment section if you're new here we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing uh, Weibo has the promotion too that you can sign up and get some free stocks um, deposit five dollars you get free crypto um, free stocks at no cost to you links in the description and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated